and um, you're going to be in just um, uh, watching the videos to um, learn computer science related courses at this um, channel. So let me share my screen first to see what I'm going to show you today. If you look at the screen here, um, my Web University Free Educational videos is the channel that I have. And you're welcome to watch these videos and um, subscribe as you like, and then um, also uh, learn from it. And so, and uh, make some comments as you wish. Uh, and then I'll just uh, try to uh, make sure that I um, make videos based on your needs. At this time, I'm going to just uh, show you what I'm going to do today, which is installing the code block, uh, code blocks uh, compiler. Code block is uh, for C and C++ um, compiler and it's free. So I'm going to go to codeblocks.org. As you can see on Google search engine, I put code blocks uh, download Windows 10 and uh, on the codeblocks.org. Um, uh, there's other uh, sourceforge.net and other website that has it as well, but I'm going to go to the codeblocks.org. Uh, code <laughs> the codeblocks.org um, has um, um, the for platform of Windows, uh, Windows 10, uh, uh, Linux 32-bit, 64-bit, and Mac OS X, as you can see. So since my operating system here is um, Windows, if I just clear my screen and I type in uh, system info and then pipe more, this will just tell me that I have uh, Microsoft uh, Windows 10 uh, platform running, as you can see here, uh, the home edition. And it is uh, the 64-bit um, AMD processor with 3.1 gigahertz. And it has about 16 um, gigabyte of uh, RAM physical memory. So I'm good to go with this 64-bit uh, installation for it. And I'm going to just download um, from uh, this uh, website, which is codeblocks.org. As you can see, there's 32-bit, uh, but I'm going to be doing it uh, from the first one, which is 32-bit. Uh, and then and there's non-admin and uh, no setup. Uh, so some of these ones, um, you can click on it. And then the one that I want to do is actually is the Ming GW because the Ming GW has a lot of utilities as well for it. And that um, I can later on just download the Ming GW um, binaries under notes here. It has um, the Ming GW and then the distribution and everything else that you can uh, get. But let's just get um, this one Ming GW set up uh, here. So I can uh, click on the uh, fast hub or um, sourceforge.net. I'm clicking on the sourceforge.net and that's um, a free uh, software foundation, sourceforge. Uh, and then it is uh, trying to download. Your download will install shortly. And um, once it is downloaded, I will have it on my download directory here. So let me just go on my download directory uh, here. And as you can see that um, the uh, uncommented, this one, it says download, it is in progress. 388K is currently done. And right here on the right side, it shows also the progress on this one to see uh, what is happening. Um, so this is uh, the executable file that it gets downloaded. I can also on the command prompt, if I just go to the download directory, all column D and then the last one O for optional and D for descending order. So the latest uh, file will be showing at the bottom. Uh, and then it is for some reason a little bit too slow because this directory structure should not be going one line at a time. But um, it is what it is sometimes when you're doing stuff and downloading it and uh, using uh, Zoom to uh, save the record and everything else. So right now it is almost done. I will just do another command here. This time it might be faster than before. As you can see, it is making a little bit more um, speed on the, the uh, directory listing. It's a little bit faster catching up on the speed. So this one, as you can see now it is downloaded and this is the size 
So if I go and do a directory of code star.exec, this will just uh, show only that file. And as you can see, if that file doesn't change, that means uh, the download is completed. And you can see 674, 674 for a while. And that means that it's uh, not getting any ch changes. I can do a start and then run this one or run this program itself from the command line here by uh, giving the file name as extension is exact. I could do that one or in, uh, right here under the open file, I can just click on it and say open it. Or I can go to the um, Microsoft um, uh, file explorer here and then just double click on that one. Let's see if this one is uh, not opening it because I might have not clicked on it enough uh, your uh, skill. So let me just close this ones. At this time, I'm uh, done with this um, URL. So I'm going to close this one and then uh, go back to my channel uh, on this one. And then uh, let's uh, look at this. Um, um, okay, so that uh, account control, so it just says, uh, when I click on that one, it says, now it's going to install it. Do you agree with it? I say, yes, I trust it. Uh, so it is good. Uh, it's going to um, go through the installation. Now code block is uh, coming up here and it says, welcome to code block setup and it uh, comes out to next. So let me just minimize these windows. So you see only one window here, which is code block. Uh, and I could just resize that one also, and just to make it a little bit bigger. So you could see exactly what I'm clicking on right here. And if I just click on the next here, so that will guide you through the installation. So by the de default, you have to agree with the license. Uh, otherwise it will not install. And then default installation, uh, and then C, and C++ share and the launcher, all of those main GW compiler suite, which has the GWD and all the uh, G, uh, CC and G++, all of those uh, compiler suite are there. So I'm gonna say click next. And then the, here is the program files, um, since it's 64 bit, it's going to be installed under program files rather than program files x86. So this is 64 bit, this is the correct directory, and this is going to be in this much, um, space required and megabyte 531. I have 860 gigabyte available. So I'm gonna go next. And then it is going through the extraction of the files. Um, this one might not be uh, uh, too long because um, sometimes uh, all it does is just uh, install the binaries and uh, set up the compiler with all the setting and configuration and then once um, it is ready for us to start, we can even write the first uh, C program or C++ program. We can install the IDE. This one has the integrated development environment, uh, similar to like a PyCharm for Python and then uh, or Visual Studio Code. Um, so, or um, Visual Studio and that, uh, it, this is a full blown IDE. It's not like a Visual Studio Code. That's lightweight that you have to install additional modules. But um, this is similar to like Python, uh, PyCharm, and that has and the full IDE with IntelliSense and all the details of um, all the modules and everything available. So at this time it is extracting. I can um, just um, for the sake of um, not making the video too long, let me just um, pause the video for now. Okay, as you can see, I uh, just uh, resumed on the recording just because it's almost uh, at the end of it. Uh, so it took about three or five, four minutes for it to be just uh, done, about five minutes actually. So for, uh, so that's why I paused the video. Uh, so you don't see just <laughs> the extracting of these packages, but it is uh, almost uh, done now. So we're recording it. And uh, once it is done on this one, you'll see the next window that comes in, say, do you want to run code block now? I could just say, yeah, go ahead, run it for me. It is gonna start it, um, but uh, I could have just said, no, don't run it. And then later on it started. it. That's either way it is uh, because it's a demo version. We could just say that, okay, now this uh, code block uh, version 20.03. Uh, 
the open source cr uh, cross platform IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And this colon colon means the scope resolution in C++. But uh, code blocks, uh, the name it as it is, is a, a list of um, just uh, blocks and that are put together like source of codes and that you do is almost like modularization or function together. It's a very nice way to look at it. And then it has um, a very good setting as well as everything there. So the GNU GCC, which is stand for um, GNU C compiler collections. And then that would be like C uh, compiler or C++ compiler. Altogether, these are uh, there. So it says that uh, this is uh, the GCC is detected. I'm going to just say, okay, go ahead, uh, do this one. And um, this button uh, right now is saying installation complete. Go click on next. And then I'm going to just say, go ahead, uh, code block has been installed. And click um, finish to uh, set up, uh, finish the uh, setup. So I'm going to do that one. And then I'll um, resize my um, screen now. Actually, uh, let me just uh, read this one. Now I leave everything as it is. So code block is currently not the default application for C, C++. And then uh, do you want to uh, set it as default? At this time, uh, I'm going to just say, no, uh, leave it as it is. But I could also say, go ahead, uh, do a TS associate code blocks with C, C++ files. I'm going to do this one um, because that's uh, what I want to do. Uh, support including project file from ID. And then, um, at um, some point when we just create a um, code block uh, here, the project opens up and uh, it is just giving you option to create a new project, open existing one or get the tip. So I'm gonna click on create a new project. And this one will just tell me what kind of project I wanna open here. So on the uh, uh, options here is a number of them, as you can see here, but I'm going to open up with a, um, a console. So console application on the right side here. I'm gonna click on that one. And um, uh, skip this next time. Welcome to the new console application wizard when you're ready to proceed, click next. So I'm not gonna just get next time when I just do this. So by default, it goes to C++, I can also do C. So let's just demo the C++ for now and then uh, another day since I'm going to be installing this one to install, to teach you uh, C and C++ and Python and all other programming languages uh, on every compiler, ID, PyCharm, everything that I install. I'm going to just uh, do a quick demo for this one for C++. So the project name, let's call it uh, Hello World. Um, this one is just uh, like a small uh, name for the pro project title folder to create in the directory. I could just say, go ahead, create it at the, under the My Web University. I could uh, just uh, choose the option of and the direct path to Linux Ubuntu. Let me just go under the My uh, Books. And then uh, under this one, I'm going to create a directory called um, New Directory. And then I'm gonna say, um, folder. So I'm going to call it uh, code blocks as the name sounds. And then uh, right here, the uh, I'm going to select this one and then the folder code um, blocks is selected. I'm going to do that. And uh, let me just um, minimize the window. It's too big here. And then um, now I have done this and then I say select this folder and select folder and then right here, the console window uh, shows up. So the uh, name of the program is a low, uh, the, uh, CBP, and then uh, the actual folder name that I'm doing it is there and then hello. So, and then the resulting file name is uh, that will create it is that extension as well. So I'm going to say next. And then uh, the, uh, the compiler, uh, GNU GCC compiler collection. Here I could just uh, choose the, compiler co uh, collection, because I did this one, this should also find them um, uh, Ming GW and everything with the default one. So at this time, uh, create a debug uh, configuration. We have all these options. I'm going to just say, uh, go ahead with the default. 
now this uh, interface comes in, uh, very nice interface. So as you can see, like what happened here, what do I have? Basically on the right side is uh, the actual source code that when you're looking at it, on the left side, where's the files or the uh, directory file. So the name of the project's hello world. Under this uh, plus, if I just uh, click under the sources, main.c plus plus is there. So this is the actual source code that is actually saying that hello world here. And then uh, and this is IO stream that needs to be included. The using namespace STD for standard, uh, uh, we're using the scope resolution. So we don't have to type in uh, STD colon colon C out or STD colon colon in line. And then uh, the main is the function that every C and C++ program has to have a main and the return type is end. That's why we'll be returning a success as zero and then we're uh, ending it here. So if I just look at this code and then I say, go ahead, compile it. This is just to uh, run it and this is compile and run it. So I'm gonna click on build and run because uh, we haven't built it. So it's gonna build it and run it. And then the object files, as you can see it uh, over here, the information shows up and then right here it says hello world as we uh, saw it here. And then um, if I wanna change this one to, for example, um, welcome to my web university, uh, free educational, uh, educational, educational videos. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. So notice that I have double code here. That means I have to skip it or, or use single code on this one because you cannot use one uh, double, uh, double string within inside another one. But since I did this one, this will be put in the um, quotation. So now I save it again and then say save uh, file. So and save it, then this time I say uh, build and run it. This time the message should say, welcome to my web university. As we can see here, welcome to my web university for education videos, this. So the actual code, we could uh, just um, do a little bit more with it and then um, have fun with it, uh, everything. But at this time, I'm just gonna uh, stop this video because uh, my job was to install it, make sure the compiler is done. But before I exit out of that one, I wanna show you from command line here, like since we installed that one, I could be on any directory if my um, echo dollar sign path, percentage path percentage is uh, pointing to the code blocks where code block is installed. Now I should be able to say G, uh, G++ dash dash version, and um, I, I, it doesn't recognize it. So the path is not there. I have to add it to the path which means right here, if I go on this time, programs, program files, and then um, directory here, and notice that code block is uh, there, code blocks. And then uh, here, I could just look for a directory of um, CD to uh, main GW. And then here, there's a bin directory and all the executable uh, that are here, uh, the, uh, is, so G++ uh, dot exact dash dash version would uh, say that uh, I have G++ uh, version. Similarly, GCC dash dash version would uh, just tell me that I have 8.1 there. But if I wanna just add it again, I have to make sure that when I was doing the installation at the time of installation, there must have been a check button say add the, uh, this to the path. I, I uh, missed that part. So to change the path, um, you type in um, environment variable, edit environment variable here, edit environment variables, um, um, edit system environment variable. You click on this one under the run and then it comes out with this setting. Then you click on environment variables here and then you just go and choose the path here and then you just uh, edit that one. And then you can add a path to the list so I'm going to say new and then browse, go to um, the this PC and uh, C colon program files 
uh, code blocks, and then um, MengGW and Ben directory. And then uh, this is the path that I want to add. So this path is added here. Now I go OK, and then OK here, and then uh, close this one. Now if I just go back to my um, terminal, it still that if I just go outside here and I say G++, it is not uh, going to show me, but this window is an older window. So I'm going to open a new one. Now with the new one, I should have my um, environment variable uh, having the path, uh, like path this. And you can see MingGW is added here. That means I can do a G++, G++ and dash dash version or a GCC and dash dash version. And then um, that would uh, just uh, go there. So if I go um, back to my program files and do directory, so uh, not the program files, my web university directory, and then go to um, uh, the one that I had was uh, books, and then uh, go to the code block, uh, code blocks. And this one, uh, hello world is the programming here. I could just uh, create the program from main.c++. I could name it whatever extension I could get, like G++ minus, minus O, and I could say main.exact from um, main.c++. This will just create a main.exact in here, and then uh, main.exact will just say the message that I wanted to see. And, and so um, the name, where what, what do you call it on the output? You have a choice. You could call it. Um, like for example, hello, dot exact, and then uh, that file will get created. Now, hello uh, itself will run, or hello dot exact, because they both have the same extension. Okay, so clearing the screen here, um, clear the screen here, and then do a three. This is the list of the files, and then this is uh, the directory three here. Uh, again, welcome to my web university for education videos. Uh, please uh, subscribe so I can have more videos for you if you're learning C or C++ or other programming languages like Python. Uh, I will do uh, videos on those ones as well. Thanks. Have a nice one. Take care. Bye.